Hi everybody, I'm Psychic Medium Lisa Perron and I'm here today with a prediction. Today I'm going to talk about the eclipse in 2019. In 2019 we have five eclipses focusing on the Earth sign of Capricorn as well as fiery Leo and watery Cancer. 2019 eclipse in energy is intense. For some people, there will be a lot of major life changes in their lives. Others will really grow up in a sense and mature to another level, wanting to live their lives with as much dignity and integrity as possible. The truth is honor and hard work is what is admired this year. Some people will get a new sense of sheer determination or true grit, where nothing on this earth will stop them from climbing the mountain to get to the top. Set your sights high and use the luck of Jupiter on your side, but you must be true and just to grasp success in 2019. Be savvy. An eclipse is a beautiful celestial event that's been viewed for centuries as an omen of things to come in the future. Eclipses are celestial events that since the beginning of civilization have indicated change, opportunities, and new beginnings. Eclipses involve the sun and the moon, so there is a polarity. And because of this, there can be an opposite reaction when there are challenges and endings. A solar eclipse is a new moon, and it occurs when the shadow cast by the moon partially or fully blocks the sun. This happens when the sun, moon, and earth are nearly aligned in a straight line. A lunar eclipse is a full moon, and it occurs when the moon passes behind the earth into its shadow. This happens when the sun, earth, and moon are very closely aligned with the earth between the other two heavenly bodies. In ancient times, eclipses were believed to be omens of the future that foretold a calamity or a time of doom and darkness. People in ancient times believed that eclipses were actually evil spirits who attacked the sun and the moon and people would run away screaming at the spirits to go away and bang pots and drums to scare them off. In modern times, that practice is still still going on today. It started in China thousands of years ago, but they still do it in some parts of the world. In modern times, we understand the science behind Eclipse, but people who are savvy and open to embrace the wisdom of the past know there is much to see beyond the science. Astrology actually was a science for centuries, and it was a required course to become a physician up until the late 1800s. As far back as the ancient Babylonians and Mesopotamians, eclipses have been recorded and observed throughout history, often marking major events and changes in the world. Often an eclipse can signal the birth of a prominent person, such as a member of royalty. In the past, it was a king or a pharaoh. Now it's a future world leader or a future scientific genius like Einstein or Stephen Hawking. An eclipse that is triggering and influencing the planets in your personal horoscope can bring significant change to your life path. Find out how the eclipse in 2019 will influence your personal planets with a personal eclipse reading for 2019. Ask me for your personal eclipse reading. I'll put a link below in the information about the video where you can get your eclipse reading if you like. The energy from the eclipse in 2019 can impact an event triggering six months or so before and up to a year after in some cases than the actual event date. 
Just because an eclipse happens on a certain date doesn't mean, bang, something's going to happen that day. Sometimes it's slightly before or after. And the influences of each eclipse are different because they're all influenced. Well, for one thing, they're in different signs. And then they're all influenced by major planets that are transiting in the sky. And if you have several planets being touched by this energy, especially your sun, moon, or ascendant, you will feel the effects stronger. Your body could be uh, physically become overheated, sweaty, shaky, or even feverish. Try and take it easy if you feel like this. And remember, this feeling is of a passing nature. Try not to give in to fearful negative thoughts of your own mind or be down on yourself. It's topsy-turvy energy. Time shortly before or after an eclipse can be very confusing, and it's really not a good time to make major life decisions unless it's a real sure bet. It puts a lot of unstable energy around whatever you want to do. And an eclipse can bring on uh, challenging aspects to yourself, uh, an influence to yourself to give you an inferiority complex or unrealistic expectations, especially with a false sense of entitlement. <clears throat> to be truly special, one must be talented and exceptional in some way. 2019 is about a wake-up call, and unfortunately, not everyone can be special. In 2019, to stand out from the rest, you must truly be exceptional and put your heart into it. Avoid self-destructive habits, especially with drugs and alcohol. The eclipse in 2019, especially the full moon lunar eclipses, can accelerate uh, severe weather, especially related to water. And there could be extra rain or snowfall associated around this time, blizzards and such, uh, with the full moon eclipse, as well as higher tides and risks of flooding. Eclipse also come in a series known as Saros, which is approximately 223 months or about 18 years. The eclipse that occurs shortly before or after one's birth can play a significant role in your life. The ancient Babylonians were the first to use the Saros cycle to predict eclipses. And today, in modern times, Archaeologists have found clay cuneiform tablets that show Babylonians were the earliest known people to record an eclipse that took place on May 3rd, 1375 BCE. So that's pretty cool. I think it's cool anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about the first eclipse on January 5th, 2019 on this video, and then I'm going to make separate videos for the other eclipse. Otherwise, this would be too long. So, uh, January 5th, 2019, we've got a solar eclipse at 15 degrees of Capricorn. It's in the Cerro series 122, and it is a new moon solar eclipse. There's much grounding energy that is auspicious for business, studies, and finances. It's an ideal time to start a business, as well as the energy of this eclipse is harmonious for poetic and music manifestations. However, this eclipse is kind of like a double-edged sword, so to speak, as there's an intense dual energy at play. Some of this eclipse is quite uh, prosperous, and it's ideal for business. However, it's also adversely angled. And if it's with one of your personal energies, it could bring problems in your life. 
some unpleasant things that could happen uh, from this energy if it's in a challenging angle could be a health issue uh, major confusion and a big misunderstanding take care of your bones and teeth now the energy is interacting with other planetary energies uh, that are transits and it's ripe for deception misrepresentation and missing facts it's possible that a prominent person will have a fall from grace the energies are karmic and associated with past lives uh, it's possible that a skeleton will pop out of the closet in more ways than one or a big secret revealed uh, perhaps be cautious with the people you meet because you might meet a shady person or be offered a shady deal. Uh, and there's a heaviness because much of this eclipse is with serious, uh, a serious Saturn vibe. So it's also highlighting uh, teachers, leaders, and the law. This could be lead to topsy-turvy events involving criminal cases, lawsuits, and courts. For some people, justice will be swift, and for others, justice will turn a blind eye. You can help ease through these vibes with less stress by taking things in stride. You will get the best results by taking a, nat taking a mature, conservative approach with your best intentions and integrity sprinkled with a bit of sophistication you'll be justly rewarded. Now you can see how these, how this eclipse may influence your sun sign, moon sign or ascendant by clicking the link below and it'll take you to my web page on my website and you can see how, what house and what area of your life this eclipse will be in. You'll actually be able to see how all the eclipse will influence you this year on that page. Make sure you watch the next video about the next eclipse in 2019. I also want to add that other planetary influences that will stimulate this eclipse are Venus trine Chiron, Venus trine the North Node, Sun sextile Neptune, Venus trine the North Node, North Node trine Chiron, Moon conjunct Saturn, and Moon sextile Neptune. The eclipse is also aligned with the fixed star Vega, which can be found in the constellation Lyra the Harp. And it's also worth noting that Uranus stations direct on the 6th. Hope for the best, but prepare for the unexpected. People born with personal planets in cardinal signs of Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn may be influenced the most by this energy. Most significantly, if your sun, moon, or ascendant is from 10 to 20 degrees of these signs. This eclipse will be visible from Northeast Asia, Northern Russia, Tokyo, Taipei, and Seoul, Korea. Do you have a special question about your future? Ask me a question starting at $25 for a detailed answer, approximately 800 to 1200 words written by me and my words. Check out the link below.